Here we have three variables and three equations. We're going to be using matrices along with Kramer's rule to solve for them. Here we go. First, we want to set up the matrix of the coefficients of the variables, like so, the 3, 3, 5 from the 3x, 3y, and 5z, and the 5, 9, 17 from the 5x, 9y, and 17. And we have the bars on the left and the right, which means we want to find the determinant of that matrix. To find the determinant of the matrix, it's quite complicated, but let me show you a shortcut. First, we write the first column and the second column on the right side. Next, we multiply cross like this. So 3 times 5 times 17 is going to be 255. Next, we multiply the 3, 9, and the 5. Once again, then we get 135. And if we multiply 5, 3, and the 9, we get 135 again. Next, I'm going to do the same. Only thing is, I'm going to go from right to left. So if I go 3 times 3 times 17, like this, then we get 153. And then I'm going to multiply the 3, 9, and the 9. And then we get 243. And then lastly, I'm going to multiply the 5, 5, and the 5, where we get 125. Here's the important thing, though. The products that we have that we have uh, that we have from going from left and the right, we're going to be adding them. Whereas the product that we have from multiplying from right to left, we're going to be subtracting them. Okay. So just as an example, if the product was negative going from right to left, we're going to be taking the we're going to be subtracting the negative value so it would have turned into positive. But as you can see here, all the products were positive. So any product that I have that I have from going from left to right are going to be positive. And on any product that I have from going from right to left, which were positive again, we need to go ahead and subtract them so they turn negative. So then, if I combine all this, we get a value of D equals to 4, since this whole thing is equal to D. Again, which is the determinant of the coefficients of the variables that we have. Next, we need to find the value of dx. dx is going to be similar to what we did, only difference is that the values that we have from the first column, the 3, 3, and the 5, or the 3x, 3x, and 5x, we remove them and replace them with the numbers on the right side of the equal sign, the 1, 0, 0. So notice the first column is the only one that's changed. The second, which is the 3, 5, 9, and the third, which is 5, 9, and 17, stay the same. Once again, we need to find the determinant of this matrix. We're going to be using the same shortcut method, meaning write down the first column and the second column on the right side and multiply. So 1 times 5 times 17 is going to be 85. 3 times 9 times 0 is 0. And 5 times 0 times 9 is 0 as well. Next, 3 times 0 times 17 is 0. 1 times 9 times 9 is going to be 81. And then 5 times 5 times 0 is going to be 0. But remember, anything that we have or the products that we have by multiplying from the left and the right, they get a positive value or plus, we add them. Any product that we have from multiplying from right to the left, we subtract them. Luckily, we have a bunch of zeros, makes our life easier. So if we simplify all this, the dx that we want is going to be positive 4. Then to find x, all we have to do is we have to do dx over d. That's all we have to do. dx we found is 4. So I'm going to put a 4 on the top. And then the d that we have earlier is going to be 4 as well. So the value of x is 1. Let's continue with dy. dy, we leave the coefficients from the x alone, the 3, 3, 5 that we have. But the coefficients that we have from the y, the 3, 5, and the 9, notice that we take it off and we replace it with the numbers on the right side of the equal sign, meaning 1, 0, 0. The coefficients of the z, the 5, 9, and the 17, it stays the same. So as you can see, when we're looking for the dx, we take off the first column or the coefficients of the x, replace it with the numbers or what the, equ e the equation is equal to. 
when we're looking for the dy, we leave everything alone. We take off the second column or the coefficients of the y for the dy, of course. We replace it with the numbers on the right side of the equal sign. Okay? And again, using the same shortcut, I'm going to be rewriting the first column, second column outside like this, and then start multiplying. 3 times 0 times 17 is 0. 1 times 9 times 5 is 45. And then 5 times 3 times 0 is going to be 0. Next, I'm going to go from right to left. 1 times 3 times 17 is going to be 51. 3 times 9 times 0 is going to be 0. And then lastly, 5 times 5, 0 times 5 is going to be 0 also. And we're going to be adding the numbers that we got, multiplying left to the right. And we're going to be subtracting the numbers we got by multiplying from right to left. Then dy, since that's what we're solving for once again, is going to be negative 51 plus 45, or it's going to be negative 6. Here, to find the value of y, we're going to be doing dy over d, where dy, we just found, is negative 6. And then d, of course, is 4. And then all you have to do is reduce this, and we get a negative 3 over 2 for the value of y. So at this point, now that we know the value of x and y, we could play it into one of the equations and find the value of z. But I want to repeat the process to give you the extra practice on how to find the determinants. So to find dz, we, re we leave the first and the second column alone, and we replace the third column, or the coefficients of the z, with the numbers on the right side of the equal sign, 1, 0, 0. Okay. Then, again, to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix, we're going to be using the shortcut. Rewrite the first and the second column on the right side, and that's right, we're going to multiply again. 3 times 5 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 times 5 is 0, and 1 times 3 times 9, of course, is 27. And then I'm going to go from right to left. 3 times 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 times 9 is 0, and 1 times 5 times 5 is 25. We add the products that we got by multiplying from left to right. However, we're going to be subtracting the numbers that we got or the products that we got by multiplying from right to left. So if I com combine all this, then we get dz is going to be positive 2. So then our final answer for z is going to be dz over d, where dz is 2. And d, of course, was 4 that we found earlier. So that's going to be 1 half. And our final answer is going to be 1, negative 3 over 2, and 1 half. Again, I hope this video shows you how to find the three variables using the Kramer's rule and also how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 using this shortcut. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you, as always, for watching my videos.